Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on Court Farms. Court Farms is actually out now over at FSUK so it's definitely worth giving it a go. Please do head over there, download it and see what you think. The download link is below as usual along with the credits and um, hopefully you enjoy it. I certainly am doing. But we're going to continue this series anyway and the first thing we need to do is refill the seed drill and we need to take the limbs and the tractor back to the field it was drilling before and then we're going to be doing our silage bale making and uh, you can see two machines over there they're the two we're going to be using today they're already in position so I'm looking forward to that uh, one of them is the crone which allows you to bale and wrap at the same time so that is going to be a fantastic mod and that is from the mod contest I am actually planning on replacing this tractor very soon as soon as we've got the money with a JCB because it just isn't really big enough for what we need it for it does mean we're going to have to finish off today with it uh, but it's okay because we're going to have it on a worker Hopefully it remembers where it is, uh, and we'll check up on it very soon. So let's move away from that now. Let's go over to our Sammy, which is still currently got the mowers on. We will take them off. And because these machines in the field are rented, it means that they've actually started in that field. I didn't actually know that was actually the respawn point, but it is. That is the reset point, and that is exactly where they have gone. Totally in the way. So we'll just get them moved out of the way first of all. We'll have to move the crone baler out, and then use the windrower. Sorry for the lag. And uh, yeah, then we'll be able to get the crone going after that. Now I must say at this point, never used this baler before, so uh, I might not be very good at it to begin with. Never even downloaded it until today. But it certainly does look interesting. Right, so let's go and attach to the windrower. We'll have to shut the gate. that is a bit of an obstruction totally in the way and I'm hoping that I chose the right size windrower now it's the second well it's the second biggest second smallest as well which you can get in game uh, the smallest one was a bit too small really and it wasn't really too much more to rent this one so I just went for it anyway I was actually going to do a multiplayer video today, but as I saw Court Farms was released, I thought it would be a very good opportunity to continue with the series. Oh, it's wide! It's wide! Taking out the hedge there. That's bigger than I thought it would be. It probably is easier from outside the cab. Otherwise I'm going to be taking all the trees with me. Yeah, um, I probably should have gone for the smaller one. That is massive. I didn't realise. Oh well, we've got it for a day anyway, so we'll be able to get, get some good use out of it. 24 hours in the game. That's real 24 hours. So we've got it for a long time. 
I think usually a series of mine tends to run for about 24 hours. So that is a lot of use. I suppose one good thing about getting it done really quickly is to be able to move on to the Chrome because that is really what I want to focus on today. Looking forward to using that. I think there is possibly a refill for it. I have not really looked into the details, I'm going to have to, I think you have to put the wrap in manually. Almost done, it's really not taken long, I totally chose the wrong machine there. I suppose it's going to make the wrapping really quick though. Right. So uh, it would have been a lot neater with a smaller one. But that has done the job. So I now want to move on to the machine I want to use mainly today. And just look at it quickly in the store. We've got the baler here. Very expensive, but I guess it was what it would cost. Um, and then we've got foil rolls and we've got net rolls. So um, the net must be for the bales and then the foil must be for wrapping them, I guess. So um, we're going to have to look into that. It's highly likely we're going to have to go and fetch them from the store. Unless, of course, we uh, get them to spawn in the field. We don't actually have a trailer for the loader so um, it might be a bit difficult but anyway let's get it attached and we'll get it into the field at least we'll open the sides up can you do the PTO? possibly not no it's done it itself um, but let's get it into here, let's get the sides put up and we'll put some uh, wrap into it. So let's jump out and we'll have a look around the side here. Open side door. So that is possibly the foil. I'm not sure which side is which, but you definitely have to load this up. Um, so I think probably the next thing to do is to go and buy the uh, foil and the net for it. So let's just have another look in here. They are £1,200 per foil roll, or pallet actually, and £500 per pallet of net. So we're obviously going to have to get a pallet of each, I think. I think that's how it's going to work. And uh, also it would probably be helpful if we had a trailer, but that isn't really in the question as we can't even afford it. So. We might have to rent one. Um, I hate renting, but we can't afford one at all. So let's go over to the New Holland T4. Oh, you've stopped. Why have you stopped? You've turned your engine off and everything. You're not eligible for tea breaks. You're a computer. Yes, let's get this started up. We will take the bucket off. We will have to take the rear rear weight off as well, unfortunately, because if we're going to have it on a trailer, we're not going to be able to tow it. So, 
what I'll do is just see how much the cost to rent. If we still can't afford it, we'll just have to go down the road with them on the pallet tines. Well, that has actually pretty much cleaned our bank accounts out. We have £90 left. Brilliant. It was £960 to rent the trailer. But at least it does make our day easier because we don't have to go down the road with them on the pallet tines. Here is the trailer. Everything spawns here. You probably could get away with using the renting mod to rent the bailing nets and foil, but I don't think that's a very realistic thing to do because uh, you, you're kind of consuming it, aren't you? You're not exactly renting it. So I think we'll do it the proper way. Hopefully we don't more, need more than one pallet because we're really going to be stuck if we do. Right, so here we are at the dealership. It does seem a bit ridiculous having this massive trailer for those two pallets. At least they're easy pallets to pick up. Oh, there we go. We're in debt. Fantastic. We're going to have to think of a solution. We're going to have to do a big harvest, I think. We do have the crops ready to sell. But we just haven't we've got round to it yet. So that's why we're doing badly for money. Anyway, there on the trailer. We'll get it hitched back on again and we will load up the baler. Yesterday, I asked in the video, what do you want me to do for a Christmas special? And there seems to be quite a lot of you who want me to do silaging. That just seems to be such a popular thing to do. Um, which makes me think, why don't we just do a silaging in multiplayer or something like that? We could do. Um, and with the idea of having snow in the map, using those snow mods, that wouldn't really work if we were going to be doing silaging, because the grass would have turned into snow. So. Uh, I uh, don't know if we'll be able to do both, but certainly one of them. I like the idea. Silaging is a good thing to do. Good thing for teamwork as well. But we are back at the field now. We'll go on some level ground and we will begin to unload. first one I think is the foil
come on. Be in line. Oh, brilliant. So yeah, I don't know if they have uh, special sides, I don't know if they have a, a side each or something. Or if you just give it to either side, I don't know. I'm not too sure. Ah, take roll. Put roll, put back roll. No. We don't want to put it back, we want to refill. That's it. Refill foil. Brilliant. Um, I think that's the limit. Yep, that is the limit. So we'll put this back. Put back roll. And we'll put it back on the trailer. Oh yes, we've taken three off there. So yeah, one pallet's plenty for this field. Which is good, because it was very expensive. Now we have the nets, um, which have moved inconveniently to the front. So take a roll, we want to refill, refill. Or have we done it already? I don't know. Um, hmm. Does it go somewhere else? Possibly somewhere else. No? Yeah, there we go. Did that refill? I think it did. One roll at a time. Just jump over the PTO there. Oh, this side needs filling up to the top as well. Right, I didn't plan that very well. Um, insert net roll, that should be good. So that's the net done. We will have to bring back the other pallet. We'll try again. So, fill, 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 fill. And uh, next compartment. It does take a lot. There. We have got a full baler. So we'll just shift this out of the way. And then we'll close it all up and begin our baling and dropping. All in one. Good. So we'll park this up just here in case we need it again. We'll turn the engine off and we will close all this up. Love how the lights come on and go off when we open the doors. Brilliant mod. Good. So let's start up the tractor. And because uh, I've never used it before, hopefully I do it all right. Turn on the baler. Wrap bales on. Change drop mode auto. Manual collect. I think we'll have it on auto and see what it does. And uh, that should work, I hope. So let's begin. I have no idea how many bells we're going to get out of this. I'm hoping, I don't know, 
5 to 10, but I'm not sure. Here comes the first one. Oh no, not, not yet. Oh, here it is. Good. Here it is. Begin your wrapping process. That's taken all the power out of the tractor. Brilliant mod. Right. Hopefully it will drop it. It did. And then the power comes back. Look at that. It goes to two miles an hour when it's wrapping. Power loss. There it goes again. This is our biggest tractor. Slices it and everything. Absolutely amazing. Well that's three bales so far, that's pretty good. It looks like we'll, we'll get at least five, easily five. I'm, I'm looking for ten really. Just finished the corner there. I didn't record it because it's quite difficult, very tight in there, so uh, we'll continue up here, this should be much easier. Really wish I had a more powerful tractor though, because <laughs> when I was over there, that slight gradient going up towards the shed, um, it was in the process of wrapping one, and the tractor just stopped, it literally stopped, and I couldn't get it to move again without turning the whole system off and starting again. Really, we should actually be doing just a, a baler and then using the wrapper afterwards with the machinery we've got. It's just I really wanted to use this baler and we'll have to use it again when we've got a bigger tractor. Melbury Estate would be a fantastic map for it. Well, we've definitely hit the amount of barrels that I wanted. We're already on 11. We've still got plenty more to do. That's 14. We're actually doing really well out of it. And uh, now I've thought about it, it's actually a really good job we've got this trailer because we're going to load the bales onto it next time. So it's not a waste of money at all. This is the final row, however, there are a few bits which is missed. I think the rows on this map are quite wide, actually wider than the machine. It's mainly that bit there.
So there we go. I think overall it's a fantastic mod. It's just the tractors which I've been using with it just are not big enough. Um, which makes it look worse than it is because it's actually fantastic. Um, I don't think there's any problems with it at all. It did really well in the mod contest and I can see why. It's very good. Um, so the mod download link is below along with the credits and we're finished here. There are a few bits missed like I say but not a great deal I can do um, without rowing it all up again. So I think until next week I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. Hopefully you enjoyed the mod and also hopefully you enjoy the map. Please do give them all a download and give them a go. So thanks for watching and until next time, bye for now.